Hello and welcome to the Woodlane Weekly of November 23rd, 2016. I uh, want to start off this week by thanking everyone for such a strong level of participation in the Bowling Green Holiday Parade. Uh, it was certainly an enjoyable time. Woodlane was well supported. It was also a, a chance for us to give back to the community. I uh, was really impressed with the overall turnout at the event as it was very cold uh, at the parade. And I know that the individuals who were on the float certainly uh, were a touch colder than everybody who was having the opportunity to walk. So thank you for your participation and we will see you again next year at the Holiday Parade. Uh, also this week is the board update. So we had a board meeting on Monday, November 21st. A few areas of interest, the lockdown company. We did agree that we would uh, sign a contract with a lockdown company to install the boot system and the room placards, which is used for safety and security purposes and allows uh, our first responders to be more efficient upon arrival. Uh, we are happy to be one of the first agencies in Wood County to uh, initiate this process. In addition, we talked about increased federal revenue in terms of targeted case management and Medicaid administrative claiming. Basically, with a change in rates and also some structural changes here in terms of application of resources, we should increase our federal revenue next year by anywhere from $142,000 to $147,000, which we are always thankful for that option opportunity. Other areas is we have initiated our strategic planning. Uh, we talked about it last week and probably will talk about it for many weeks to come. It is imperative that we get all stakeholders uh, to the table to discuss their uh, needs, wants, and desires for the growth of the board. We will be looking for input from any and all stakeholders so that we can ensure we're developing a comprehensive and quality strategic plan. One of the areas we know will be part of the strategic plan is our housing plan. So we have begun stages to kind of strengthen and support that and uh, we received approval to hire a housing coordinator uh, to allow us to specifically focus on, on development of uh, affordable and accessible housing here in Wood County. That is uh, just the first step in many on the development of a countywide housing plan. And finally, uh, we have, uh, you know, we're going to be uh, receiving new board members at the beginning of the year. So today our county commissioners have identified that Marlene North, Tim Brown, and Jerry Miller will be new board members uh, commencing the term in January of 2017. So if you see Marlene, Tim, or Jerry around town, please congratulate them as they will certainly be our partners as we move towards the future. And lastly today, uh, we'd like to leave you with some pictures of the Sensory Trail. The Sensory Trail and the waterfall feature uh, that you should see in pictures now uh, is a culmination of a donation from the Woodlane Foundation of $50,000 and $17,500 being contributed by the board, which should allow uh, for a very significant water feature and an option for individuals as they're traveling around campus uh, to experience uh, just a wonderful view. So we're very thankful to the Woodlane Foundation for their generous donation, and we want to wish everyone who is out there a happy Thanksgiving. Thank you.